TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 29, NASDAQ up 32, S&Ps up 6.5, all with anemic volume, folks. It's going to be pretty cool coming into the uh, Fed meeting tomorrow, uh, 2, 2 to 2.30. We're going to have the statement as well as the news conference. If we get open, we take a look at the SPY. What you're going to see is this. We had anemic volume on the way down yesterday. When I say anemic volume on the way down yesterday, we did 58 million. Bottom line is that you go higher today with 38 million. That's a market that wants lower price. The 38 million is going into 142 million. Supply versus demand, guess what? A lot more supply than there is demand. Market, however, is in harmony. What I mean by that is that, guess what? You had the queues also go up with anemic volume. Yesterday we came down on anemic volume 20 million. Today, you're up on 19. That 19 is going into 63. So big numbers out here. And that would generate saying that no matter what the Fed does tomorrow, which I do expect high volatility, you can have spikes all over the place. And then my take is that we will have lower price. Gold contract. Gold contract rejected the lower price out here today at 1,500. 327,000 contracts traded. That's saying that gold wants higher price. Note and bond. Now, this is going to be really wild watching this shake out because what we had is this. Note and bond market to be going higher for six months. You came off that high, add volume. Last two days, we go higher and volume contracted dramatically. That's telling me notes, bonds, TLT all want to go test the lows that were established out here last Friday. So the bottom line is that that's where this volatility is going to come in the marketplace. It's like, okay, is the Fed going to get down a quarter point? Are they going to get down a half a point? What the statement's going to be? How many more dollars do they have to inject inside the system? How are they going to basically uh, turn around and get a wild card out there and say that, okay, once again, we're going to basically expand our balance sheet instead of contract our balance sheet? We'll see how we're, uh, where that all goes. King Dollar. King Dollar is down 390 ticks out here today. If we take a look at King Dollar, actually a sideways move, 12,000 contracts. You're inside a lower range. Once we got inside this uh, 97,225, it's a lower range. Next lower range is down there at 97050. And what I do expect is that we will start to make our way down into those lower levels. So to recap out here, we had the Dow Industrials up 31, NASDAQ up 32, S&P's up seven and a half. After the close out here, you're gonna have Adobe coming out with numbers, FedEx, FedEx is gonna be a big one. No two ways about that, and then Chewy.